um, go through this one. Now, if you guys remember, um, when I was doing the, if you guys remember, when we were doing dividing, so in multiplying, the main important thing was mul simplifying first and then multiplying them. For dividing, the main important thing I said to do was to divide them first, right? Yeah. But the problem comes in is when you guys look at this, we can't simply go ahead and divide these because 7 doesn't evenly divide the 2, and there's nothing in for x to be on this. So I can't simplify this anyway. So what is the other ways that we can still try to simplify this problem? Because I can't simplify it by dividing. Well, what we can do is one of the things to have this simplified is not to have a root in our denominator. So to eliminate the root in the denominator, what we need to do is find values that we can take the square root of. Or if we had a cube root in the denominator, find values we can take the cube root of. I can't take the square root of 7, correct? But what can but can I I can take the square root of seven raised to what power? X. Two. I can't take the square root of x, but I can take the square root of x raised to what power? Two, right? So what do I need to multiply seven x by to get it to be seven squared x squared? Three. Seven x squared. I need to multiply it by seven x. Now, the problem is, ladies and gentlemen, can we multiply a number outside of a radical inside of a radical? Yes. No, we cannot. Can we multiply numbers inside of a radical times numbers inside of a radical? Yeah. Yes. So I can't multiply by 7x because I can't multiply 7x inside the 7x. But what I can do is multiply by the square root of 7x. OK? So I can multiply by the square root of 7x on both sides. Now, when multiplying by the square root of 7x on both sides, what I obtain is 5 over 14x divided by 3 times 7 squared x squared. And what you guys notice by this means now is, do you guys, do you guys see I just did 7 times 2, which is 14. And then I had the x. And then the 3, I couldn't do anything with that. But now I, took, um, I, could, I did 7 times 7, which was 7 squared, which you could say 49. And then x times x is x squared. But what's nice about I write it in this format is do we know what the square root of 7 times 7 is? No. 7. Square root of x, time, x squared? X. x. So therefore, I have 5 over the square root of 14x all over 3 times, 20, um, 3 times 7 times x. And now I just multiply the 3 times the 7 is 5 mm -hmm. times the square root of 14x divided by 21x. Yes, Mario? I did. 7 times 7 is 49, which is the same thing as 7 squared. I just wrote it at 7 squared instead of 49, but it's the same thing. Okay? Huh? 